Hello procrastinators and welcome to another 3 Fab Games Friday. Today we're going to be having a look at 3 Fab Games, starting with a game that I think might end up being one of the best games ever made. <laughs> Shadows of Doubt is a detective simulator that gives you a fully simulated city, a crime scene to investigate, and a headache as you try and work out which of the hundreds of civilians bustling about the place did an old Mrs. Flanagan with a switchblade. The city is the star of the show here, generated when you start a new game and full of noir skyscrapers, greasy diners, and dark corners for dark deeds. Every single building can be entered, every apartment searched, every air vent explored. Each citizen has a daily routine, a place of work, a password, and even leaves fingerprints as they interact with the world. I've been to real cities that felt less alive than this one. And with all of these possible avenues of investigation, you'll need to make good use of your pin board, complete with connecting string and post-it notes if you want to solve the crime. I'm almost that type. I haven't even mentioned that you can buy and decorate an apartment, take on different side jobs, or just sit at a bar, watch the rain outside, and get blattered. And that's Shadow of Doubt. It's out now in early access on PC and blew me away harder than an F5 tornado. <laughs> Terra Nil is a city on Builder where you transform a slice of barren wasteland into a thriving ecosystem. First, you build a system of large machinery to fix up the local environment and then you meticulously take apart that system of large machinery until there's no trace you were ever even there. It's like deleting your internet history after viewing certain materials online. Only in this case you want to spread seeds everywhere. And speaking of cleanup, it is delightful to purge these landscapes of toxins. I've no idea what happened in these areas, probably a music festival, but washing it all down, planting new growth, encouraging wildlife to move back into it is seriously relaxing. You have to put a bit of thought into the order of your operations, but at no point you can have to react to a meteorite smashing your town up or a zerg rushing you from your least offended position. It's a cold day, warm cup of tea, sort of game. Throw a blanket over yourself, snug up warm, and build a woodland for critters. And that's Terra Neal. It's out now on PC and playing it counts as touching grass, probably. Cassette Beasts is Pokemon meets the 1980s, finally giving us a game that mixes creature collecting with the concept of owning a Walkman. As this gorgeous RPG opens, you'll find yourself trapped on a mysterious island full of monsters, a couple of eldritch nightmares, and the vilest enemy of all, landlords. Luckily though, through the power of retro technology, you can record a copy of these monsters, allowing you to transform into them during combat. And there, you'll have to learn an interesting type system, where a lightning strike on an earth monster will give it a glass coating, changing its type for a few turns. Now, if you want to catch them all, you're looking at around 120 monsters, ranging from a traffic cone wearing crab, to a giant creepy stop motion puppet with a top hat. However, as the game also features a fusing mechanic, allowing you to mash any two monsters you can play as together, you can create over 14,000 monsters. Stick that up your Pokedex, Nintendo. And that's Cassette Beast. It's out now on PC, Switch, and Xboxes, and is essentially vital for anyone whose favorite colors are red and blue. <laughs> <laughs> 